Hey friends, welcome back to the shop. If this is your first time to the channel, thanks for coming by. We definitely appreciate it. I'm Art. Normally I would be joined by Dana, but she is actually taking care of some other projects today. So I wanted to take the opportunity to go ahead and do this review on this particular product since we put in eight months worth of testing and time to really kind of reach this point of a solid review. We're talking specifically today about goat armor. Now, if you own several of the generations of Toyota Tacoma, the fifth gen Forerunner like we do, as well as the FJ Cruiser and the Colorado line of pickup truck, you do off-roading or overlanding or a combination of both, then you likely have either heard or seen or potentially even own goat armor already. Now this is a particularly popular modification for those of us that do like to go off-roading and in many cases tight trails to where you would typically end up scratching up the side of your vehicle. Now this review is going to really be across three different categories. The first is customer service. That's really important to Dana and I when we're making a large purchase. And I would categorize this as a large purchase because it's over $500. The second piece is going to be fitment. The third category is going to be functionality. And then I'll wrap it up prior to our overall opinion is going to be learning lessons and bumps and bruises along the way of actually using this particular product. So the first one is going to be customer service. As I mentioned, it's really important for us that when we're making a large purchase, it's through a company that's reputable, has strong reviews, as well as easy to communicate with and quick into response for any types of questions or concerns that we have. Now, I started looking at this product late last year I'd say uh, probably September time frame when we were starting to do more off-roading. I had already got my share of what we call Kentucky pinstripes on the vehicle from some of the trails in Kentucky and Ohio. And I wanted to do something a little bit more on protecting the exterior of the vehicle. You have this as an option for the lines that they carry. And then you also have PPF the protection film very similar to a wrap but the PPF is going to be three to four times the cost and it may not be as durable in those particular off-road conditions so it just was not feasible for our budget and what we were likely going to end up doing with it so looking at the particular templates and options that Goat Armor actually has on their website they didn't have the style in the colors for the Black Forerunner that I wanted so I reached out to the company and was actually speaking to the to the owner about this template but changing up the color some to match the theme of my vehicle. He not only loved the idea and said that he could definitely change the, the colors of it but he liked the combination of them so much that he wanted to put it on the website for the rest of customers to be able to, to purchase if they also liked it. I thought that was great. He definitely went above and beyond in what I needed and felt that it was a good idea enough to actually put it on the website. So that was great. He shared with us in regards to timing on when the material was going to be changing. He was moving to a better material. Also on when potential price changes would be happening. So great signs of high morals, strong ethics, things that I like to see in a small business owner that's catering to the audience that he's really focusing on. So I took that information, I gave it to Dana as a potential Christmas gift for me, and lo and behold on Christmas, she actually surprised me with this. Extremely blessed to have her and, and being able to do these things for me. And we live in Ohio, so during Christmas time, it's winter, and it's just not a time that we're going to actually go out and do a lot of off-roading anyway. So it sat in the tube for a little while, not a big deal, 
and I, during that time frame I decided to take a few additional steps in regards to the prep of the vehicle. I, I checked out the website. I also looked at some other sites uh, in regards to prep for it and did a full clay bar on the Forerunner to make sure that there were no contaminants on it that would really affect the fitment of these and them adhering to the vehicle overall. So, late winter is when we actually applied the panels to it. So that takes me to the next category, which is fitment. The fitment for it with these, they come in a very large uh, circular type of tube where everything is rolled up into panels. And you have to take each of the pieces off of the larger panel. You'll need a razor knife or a box cutter in order to be able to trim the pieces, the tabs that are left on the segments once you take it off of the larger panel. And you'll want to lay it out in order to be able to make sure that everything flattens out best as possible. Now this was late winter for us when we ended up doing this and getting it ready. Uh, I put the panels on and they were just not really adhering to the vehicle very well. So I reached out to the owner of the company, once again, very quick in responding to me, and let me know that because of winter, uh, it's best to use a heat gun and go over the panels to where they would loosen up and adhere to the vehicle. Did it, it worked, was really excited about it. The fitment, as you can see, is they are separate panels. This is not a wrap where you're going to have the entire vehicle covered, but most of it really is. The theme or the seam on this, and this is the boz, by the way, all wrap or all line up fairly well. Uh, really no big issues. You don't see anything that's really off from, from each other, uh, at least not very large. So overall, fitment has been great when it really is on the vehicle and considering uh, or concerning pieces going where they're supposed to go. The next category, functionality. Functionality, this has been great. So we do trails in Kentucky on the Kentucky Adventure Trail. Uh, we've gone through mountains in West Virginia. Uh, we do things in sand and dirt, water crossings. And where I would typically have pinstripes on both sides of the vehicles, this has completely eliminated that. Really, really good. Saves me time when I get back from the trails. I just wash all the panels, take them off, let them dry, and then I have a large table that I lay them flat on and no more pinstripes underneath. So that's really good. With the functionality, there are some things that you want to make sure that you stay alert of. One, they're magnets. So any type of element that gets underneath that magnet, whether it be sand or water, then it's going to keep that magnet from adhering to the metal the way that it's supposed to. If I knew that I was getting ready to cross a higher water area that was going to be up over any of the panels, I stopped, pulled the panels off, and then went ahead and crossed, and then put them back on once the vehicle was dry. That just made sure that I kept the panels on the vehicle where they were supposed to be and not floating downstream. From there, these are magnets, and they do have their weaknesses. This is where this, this review really transcends into issues that we've ran into. The first was during the winter time when we first put this on the vehicle. Uh, I read in multiple different areas, some says you don't keep it on any longer than a week, some were two weeks, some say take them off when you're not off-roading, and put them away. So I followed the average of what everyone recommended that did have the product. And I kept it on the vehicle roughly a week and a half to two weeks, not going off-roading, just had it on the vehicle itself. Driving down the interstate one day, when I got to my destination, I discovered that I lost three panels. That was pretty upsetting. Three very large panels and I had not been through any off-roading at all yet. So I contacted the owner, let him know of the issue, 
Uh, he did say that it was very rare and, and he had not heard that yet, but we determined a resolution to the problem and I was able to get those three replacement panels. So was very happy with that. I decided at that point, because of the cold weather, it was not something that was smart to keep this on the vehicle any longer than I needed to. During the winter time, it's going to be stored and not put on the vehicle. Second piece, if it falls off or you're not holding it correctly and it bends any at all through a particular degree, you will have creases in that magnet and the crease is not going to come out. The creases that we have, the bottom one, I have smaller creases there. This, I have one here. I have another one there. Another one there. And another one there. So all in multiple panels, as well as one more there in the bottom of this one. Those just through random moving or a panel fell out of my hands and kind of bent over on itself, a crease. Nothing I could do about it. Now with that crease there, there is that very slight area that it's not adhering 100% to that panel. So elements could get underneath it and completely pull it off. I've also determined through putting these on that I have to use the heat gun more often on adhering the corners to the vehicle because they just won't stick and I have to warm it up even during the summer months. I've left the panels out in the sun to warm them up and it still doesn't quite do enough for me. That's concerning for me because now I'm not quite sure on whether that is actually going to hold up during regular driving and that was backed up by a trip to West Virginia where we were on the interstate once again 70 miles per hour because I don't drive this faster than 70 miles per hour due to the very low gas mileage that it gets as it is that on the interstate without crossing any water features during that trip I lost this panel right here. Fortunately, it was on my side and I can see it peeling up and flying off the vehicle as I was on the road. And I was able to pull off pretty quickly and go back and pull it off the interstate. The damage had already been done. It scratched up on the outside and there's slight creases in it now from it flying and bending over itself. Not much I can do about it at this point other than pay for a replacement panel. Uh, which I'm not going to do quite yet. So, to the final part of this review, which is, would I buy it again? It's going to fall into two categories. One, if you have the discretionary funds where $500 to $600 is not something that you really have a hard time separating yourself from, and you're willing to put it on, when you go on off-road trips and then take it off just for the functionality and protection of the vehicle yes as long as you take care of the pieces themselves keep them clean wipe them off wash them when you come back from your trips let them dry and then then store them properly the second category would be if you have a tight budget and this is more for looks for you, no. Don't buy it, save your money, and invest it in a wrap. That's gonna be more functional and more cost effective, although it is a little bit more expensive. It's going to last and not have the potential of flying off on the interstate because you're keeping it on your vehicle for too long of a period of time. But Knowing that this was a gift, then I feel very fortunate that Dana got it. It has helped us on our off-roading trails. If I was looking at having her spend the money again, I'd likely tell her to hold off 
and we use that $500 for a different modification and I'll just buff out the pinstripes myself. That's where I personally stand. If you own the GOAT armor or you're looking at purchasing it, share some comments. Uh, good or bad, you know, this is all our opinions based on our use. Your mileage may vary based on the elements that you go through, the location or the geography that you live in. Those things could certainly change drastically on your overall opinion. But either way, we'd love to hear it. We'd love to engage with each of you. If you're looking at purchasing this, we hope this review has certainly helped you out in one way or another and just informed you a little bit more of different experiences so you can have the best reasoning before you drop the amount of money that is for these products. So thanks once again for stopping by. We certainly appreciate you. Stay safe. Take care. We'll see you next episode.